we'll wait for the next flame breath and then we'll go in with another score of courage. Just want to keep the duty back. Okay, let's go. No, don't poop right now. <laughs> it's a bad time to poop. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascendant. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode. We're going to start off by uh, doing a little bit of building. We're going to work on our trophy room, and we're also going to move our transmitter probably out to there um, because it doesn't work, unfortunately. Um, or it doesn't work reliably, I should say, up on the current tree platform that we have. Let's take a look at that first. So we're going to head up to transmitter small and uh, so what i did was i backed up my game and i ran a test and went in uh, to a boss fight and when i came back out it basically teleported me back in inside of the redwood trunk and killed another one of my dinos probably from meshing it somewhere and i was basically stuck in the tr <laughs> in the trunk and i had to ghost to get out so yeah this isn't going to work uh, but I do have a different plan uh, for this platform. As you can see, I've extended it out by a couple of tiles. Uh, well, actually three tiles if you include the ramps and put some rails and some lights around. So it looks pretty cool up here. Um, but what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to move my Rexes up here and have this be the breeding platform for the Rexes. Because right now I've got them underneath, you know, the main base. And, you know, the, the ground isn't very level. There's not a whole lot of room down there. Uh, for them. So yeah, we'll we'll move the Rexes up here so that way we can continue to utilize this platform and um, We'll set up our Transmitter, you know, probably down there in front of the base. We're also gonna instead of building a, a physical wall around that I'm gonna use a um, whatchamacallit um, a Force field. Uh, we'll use a force field there. So um, In fact, let's uh, let's work on that first. I think so we'll head back down to main uh, base platform here and I've got a pretty decent amount of metal and Akatina paste um, where we have we have 277 element uh, and 560 black pearls so we should have enough I think to do most if not everything that, that we want to accomplish today um, we might end up needing to make a little bit more poly but we'll see how it goes all right so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start this guy up and we want to make the uh, the force field. So this is going to cost us 150 black pearls, 800 polymer. My goodness, that's expensive. Um, at 5,000 metal, and then you know we got a bunch of crystal. But it's uh, it's what we're going to do. Okay, so we made that. We can turn this back off for now. And I also ended up moving my tech generator closer to that platform so it would cover the whole thing for the lights and so what I want to do is I want to uh, turn the range on because we have to make sure that this force field generator is within uh, you know range of the of the Jenny there um, wait didn't I just turn that on <laughs> what the hell man what the hell Now it's on. That was weird. Okay. So I don't know um, how much, you know, area the force field itself covers. Um, and also, does it need to be on a platform? What if we stuck it? Uh, maybe right here. Let's see if it'll let us even put it down. Oh yeah, it will. Okay. Um, let's move it down here so it's even a little further over. Okay, and then requires element to be activated. Oh, oh so you can't actually run it off of the the generator. Ooh, that kind of sucks. Okay, how long does it last on one element? Less than 30 minutes. Oh, man. Okay. But how come it didn't consume it? 
Oh, it take it it take it has a power up time. Oh, okay, okay. I see. All right. Does it show us um, the area that it covers? What's this? Radius options. Deactivate inventory. Uh, does it use more fuel if you increase the radius? I don't know. Let's just see what it does by default first. I'm going to go uh, shut the generator uh, radius back off again. Well, that's kind of a bummer that it doesn't use the generator's power. On the other hand, it also means we have a little more flexibility as to where we place it. Um, you know, depending upon... Turn that off. Depending upon how much room it has and all that, right? Okay, so it's uh, still got three minutes before it powers up. I think the force field's just automatically visible anyways. Um, but the idea here is that we're going to grab the transmitter and we're going to make a platform for it out here. It might be kind of cool to build the platform up here. It's just that, you know, with this terrain going to be pretty high up in the air but it yeah we could probably make that work right okay i like that idea all right so let's go make uh start making some uh i'm gonna make it out of metal or at least part of it out of metal anyways so let's get that started while we're waiting for this to to power up i want to see what i currently have uh, for foundations. Okay, we have four. Um, all right, I'll tell you what. Let's put this on pause for just a moment. Let's put this on pause for just a moment. I'm going to show you. I'm not going to build the entire trophy room in this episode. I'm just going to show you how it's going to come together, and then I'll build most of it off camera. Um, so... I don't think we need any of that stuff. I, I kind of built it a, a, a part of it in advance just to kind of figure out what I wanted to do. Then I took it back down so I could show you guys uh, how it's going to come together. So let's grab all of these pieces here. And uh, head up here. Is the force field up yet? I, I, I would imagine we can see it when it goes up. Okay, well here. I don't see it yet, so I might still have another few seconds. So let's head up here. Whoa. And that thing looks really cool up there. It's it's kind of a bummer it doesn't work, but on the other hand, it'll make a really nice platform for our Rex breeding. So so what we're going to do is we're going to come, we come up the stairs and then we turn right. And I think we'll put the first... I think we'll put the first display here. So, uh, I have one tech wall. I'm going to put that down. And then we're going to outline it uh, on either side with a normal steel wall. Just because, you know, I don't have a, a ton of element yet, so I want to still be kind of conservative. But I want the trophy part itself to be on an element wall just because it looks really cool. Okay, so... We'll go back and get the trophy and all that kind of stuff in just a moment, but I want to show you what we're going to do along the outside. Uh, so we're going to grab these uh, glass pieces, and we're going to create kind of an angled... Um, did I want to go two out with that or not? What else do I have here? To, in order to get up to the top of that, we need to go four high. So if we went two out and then two back, that should get us there with it, if we use a flat roof. I'm not... Hmm. 
Okay, here. Let's do this. Let's pull, pick this back up. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it this way. Okay. And then um, what we could do is, is angle up one more and then do maybe a flattish roof or something over to the end of there. Or maybe even something else. A little fancier schmancier. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but now let's grab the triangle pieces. And we want to put those like this. And I think we want one on the corner there. And then, of course, uh, yep, you do this. It's just a matter of positioning it in the right spot. Okay, so that'll be that will be um, the the outer walls that we have there, and then to continue it on, I haven't fully thought that part out. Actually, I, I was gonna go two out, like two angled out, and then two angled back, but I don't know if I want to do that after all. So. Can I flip that around the other way? Yeah, like that. So that gets that three high, but it would need to be four high to get all the way up level with the top of that, which maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll just go... I might have to uh, go up here to get that to work right. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's all the pieces I have made. And then we could we could either do a flat roof to the walls, or we could do. Maybe some kind of combination of metal and glass like we did down below, just so it's not all glass. And maybe even, you know, put some other things up here at some point in the future. Um, there's lots, lots of possibilities. But I think, I think what we'll do for, at least for now, is I think I'm just going to build a flat roof of a combination of glass and metal. Um you know, over to the edge of, of that. So I think that's what we'll do. But anyway, that gives you guys the basic idea of uh, how this is going to come together along the side. It's going to take me uh, a fair amount of time, you know, to, to do it all. So I'm going to do it off camera. But I just wanted to show you the basic design. So when we finish it and you, we come back in the next episode, you guys will see it its completed version. So, here, let's do this. Let's just see if we can kind of get a, a feel for what it looks like from out here. Oh, that's kind of cool looking. I like that. I think it blends well with the stone underneath it. Cool. All right. Let's, um... Oh, that's not a very big force field at all. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Uh, I want to see if extending it uses the power more quickly. So right now it has 24 minutes and 43 seconds left. Um, if we do its maximum radius... Ah, see, now it only has 4 minutes left. Well, that makes sense. That definitely makes sense. Um, wow, this thing's expensive, you guys. Okay, what is it? Well, here, before we bring that back in. But here's the thing, though. I don't have to put it right here now that, you know, because it's not reliant upon the generator. So we could still put it out here. Then we just kind of fire it up before we take off because, you know, we, we don't want to line up all our dinos to get ready for a boss fight and then have something come in and attack us. 
and you know we shouldn't we won't have to put it on its biggest setting either um, and I, again though it's kind of a bummer that this doesn't run um, you know off of the generator that we have to put element actually put element in it I don't, I don't know if I like that idea Let, okay let's set it back down to that radius now how much longer so still only three minutes and 48 seconds did, did that even go down decrease shield radius to 9.6 okay, hold on let's go over here so we can watch it that's it's bringing it down but not a lot Seriously? Who who would use a shield like this small? Uh I don't know. Can you shoot out of this? No, you can't. Okay. Um I see. Okay, so you just have to kind of do it one at a time until you get it out to the radius that you want. So now it's got 18 minutes and 24 seconds. So we'd still want it a little bit bigger than this for the platform. So what we got to do is we got to build the platform um, first, put the transmitter in the middle, and then probably what we would do with this guy is set it right next to the transmitter to create the barrier. Either that or Yeah, I don't know if I want to screw around with this. At least not right now, not until we have an abundance of element. Maybe I'll just build the platform with, you know, some uh, some defenses around it, you know, some walls or some um, rails. You know what, though? We could actually maybe just put the platform in this corner now that I'm looking at it. That might actually work. It'll it'll block the door a little bit, but it's not like we need to go in and out of the door at the time that we're getting ready to go do a boss fight either, you know? Um, another possibility... is we could extend the wall... We can, we can actually extend this corner out a little more um, to accommodate the size of the platform. That might even be better. Is this a harvestable rock? Let's see. Hopefully it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you know what? I, I think I like that idea better. So we just extend the wall out to here uh, to accommodate the size of the platform. I think that'll work. I won't know for sure until I, you know, start laying some stuff down. But yeah, I think that'll work. All right, we might as well just let that thing run out because I'm sure we're going to lose the element even if we if we picked it up. So. Okay, so here's the next thing we're going to do. Let's go into here. And we want to grab um, Alpha Dragon. We want to grab four pedestals. We want to grab the two flags. And I need... Hmm, I thought I made some trophy mounts. But I would have put them in here, I would think. Uh, they're not in there. They're not in there. Okay, well, well, we'll just make some new ones. It's not like they're expensive. Um, here, let me try one more thing. I might have accidentally put it in the wrong place. 
Yeah, there they are. Okay. I guess they were there. I just wasn't uh, paying attention. Okay, so back up to here. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the wall mount and we're going to put it right about in the center of here best as we can from this angle. That looks pretty good. Okay. And then we'll put the dragon head in it. Okay, cool. Um, then we're going to take the flags and we're going to unsnap those and put them right about in the center up against the two side walls and we'll do the same thing over here good now the dragon is the only one of the guardians that has four artifacts so I think what we'll do for that is why don't we put one pedestal here put one on this corner one on this corner the spacing of that. Okay, let's try something different. All right, guys, I'm back. I had to go AFK for a little bit. Um, okay, let's try this differently. Let's put it, this one right in the center of the, f uh, of the flagpole and line it up with the seam here. Uh, we'll do the same thing on this side. Probably pretty good. And then maybe what we'll do with these guys is kind of line them up with that corner, but then pull them out. So the corner, the left corner is on that seam there. And that seam there. Wait a second. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Okay, I like that spacing a little bit better. Now what we're gonna do is go grab the four dragon artifacts and put those in place. And we're also gonna put some lights down too. So let's see, we need Immune, we need strong, and we need Skylord and Cunning. So I've got some extra Skylords here. And then Cunning is actually up in <clears throat> the transmitter at the moment because. Uh, I was going to use it, but then I, <coughs> excuse me, I decided not to after our test didn't work so well. Um, transmitter small. Okay, so let's go around over here. Uh, we might as well just pull all of that stuff out of there. What? Oh, I already have have those in my inventory. Um, do I have my otter with me? No, I don't. Okay. All 
Otter's right there. Because I had to log out. Come here, buddy. Okay, so... I think what we'll do is... Let's put the short, shorter ones on the side. So that's going to be strong and immune. And then we'll put the two larger ones in the center since there's more room in the back there for them. There we go. It's interesting that they spin at or rotate at different rates. Like this one is really slow. I wonder why that is. Um, and then the last thing we're going to do is grab some lights. Which I think I might have. I don't know how many lights in there? I believe I have some made up somewhere. I just don't remember what I did with them. Are they going to be in here probably? Got one lamp in there. Hmm. I guess that's all I have. I thought I had more than that. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to count. Oh, I know why. I, I used them up on the upper platform. That's why I don't have as many as I thought I did. I'll have to count how many in total I'll need, but I'm just gonna put the four down to finish the, the set here. Okay, so unfortunately we don't really have any um, fancy light options with vanilla. So we're just gonna be doing white lights. I know in the S plus you used to be able to change the color of them. But the idea here is we'll We'll basically, we'll put a light on each seam here all the way around. There we go. Okay, so that is um, our dragon setup. We will do the same thing, of course, for Broodmother Megapithecus on the next two sides, one to the right, one to the left. And then on the back section... We'll, you know, we've got the Rex trophy that we can put up there. So we'll do that and, you know, maybe, uh, you know, maybe, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. We might maybe put some extra artifacts up that we have a lot of. Like I've got a ton of, of the immune from running the Swamp Cave all the time, for example. Um, but we'll see how it comes together. But at least that gives you guys uh, the basic idea of what the trophy room is ultimately going to look like. Uh, both, you know, with the walls and, and then the actual arrangements themselves. So that's something, of course, I will, uh, you know, continue working on off camera. And may may have it completely done, you know, by the next episode. We'll see. Awesome. Okay. So next step is to get our um, transmitter moved down to, to there. And so... Like I was saying, I think what we'll do is we'll extend the wall out and then just put it in the corner. Then we don't have to worry about, you know, extra defenses and things like that. Well, I'll tell you what, though. I'm going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, I'm going to kind of mess with it a little bit uh, first because I'm not... You know, I, I don't know exactly how how it's going to come together yet. So let's just put... Um, I should actually keep that stuff separate so I don't have to separate it out again later. When the time comes first to do the dragon fight. So yeah, let's just put all that stuff in there for now. Um, like I said, I only have the one... Or I don't know, maybe I didn't say this, but I only have one more clever... Or sorry... A cunning artifact which we'll have to pull off the pedestal to go do the dragon and then we're gonna have to go get some more of those out of the eastern sea cave 
Uh, but this is this is also you know the Alpha Rex trophy, so we could put that on the back side as far as a wall-mounted trophy, and then probably like I said, we'll um, <clears throat> we'll put some some of the extra like I got all of these artifact of the mutants. Oh, we'll put those there. Okay, so let's see what do I have for metal foundations. We've got these four here. Um, we're going to need these if we're going to extend the fence out, which of course we are going to do. Uh, we have some stone walls. Um, well, actually we want the big ones, so I'll have to make some more of those. And, uh, do I have any triangle foundations? Because I'm, I'm thinking about making this, you know, like a rounded structure. What are these? Middle quarter triangle ceiling. Those are the ceilings. Okay. Okay, well, guys, what I'm going to do is cut the camera here. I'm going to extend the fence out, start working on the platform. <clears throat> and when I have a pretty good idea of how it's going to come together, I'll bring you guys back at that point. Uh, maybe to put the finishing touches on it before we go do the dragon. So I'll be back in a bit. All right, guys. Um, we're just about finished with the platform. It's nothing fancy. Pretty basic, but it should be functional, of course. We need to make one sloped wall. And then we're just going to need, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> a couple of rails as well. Um, I think we only need three or four. Let's make, um, let's make five, just in case I miscalculated something there. I was uh, thinking about making this as a uh, a circular thing, but it just, I ran into well, the main problem I ran into was that, uh, you know, the level of the ground because it slopes up. So it's poking out a little bit right there. Uh, so I figured, well, I'm just going to keep this simple and, you know, just make it a, uh, a square. Okay, so let's grab this and we just want to put rails just up on that side should be fine. And then as you can see in the front here, I just got ramps. Well, they're actually roof pieces because... If I would have used the ramps, we probably, yeah, see that one's just barely touching the ground there. Um, we might not have been able to just get do one row. And then as you can see in here, you know, I, I, unfortunately you can't stack foundations uh, in, in vanilla. Um, so these are foundations back here, but then I had to, to go down. And I probably don't even need all of these foundations down here, but I think we need some of them, you know, just for support. So I'm just going to leave them there because, uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave them there. <laughs> uh, okay, so we might, can I fit this in here? Yeah, I can. Hmm. I, I might try and squeeze another. Here, actually, let's do this. Just because there's that gap there. I bet you we don't need this middle foundation, so let's pick that up. Watch the whole thing come tumbling down. There we go. We'll put that there, and then we can stick this in here. Except for I want to turn it the other way, because I like the, the that textured side a little bit better. And it, you know, kind of matches with that side, too. All right, so that's pretty much it for our platform. Should work okay. Uh, now what we're going to do is get, go get the transmitter, and we're going to set it smack dab in the center right here. And, um, yeah, that should work. Okay, so let's go grab that. And then, of course, we're going to have to move all of our um, dinos over, too, after we grab the transmitter. Oh, uh, you know what? I don't think the power is going to reach over there. Um, yeah, shoot, I forgot about that. Let's grab these guys out of here. Well, I mean, if, if I have to put another generator down, I have to put another generator down. It's not the end of the world. And I even actually have an extra tech generator. Okay, so let's go back down to here. Yeah, that's going to be really, really close um, as to whether or not it's actually going to work. 
Okay, so we want to go four squares. Yeah, this square right here is the smack dab center. And I think this is the same all the way around. Uh, oh, it's going to snap. Okay. Yeah, that should work. It's going to be... going to be a little tight in here, but, you know, for theories anyways, uh, I'm sure we can make it work. If we're going to teleport Rexes, that could be a little more of a challenge. Um, but, I mean, what we could do if we had to is we could extend it more this way and even extend it out this way. It, it would overhang from the cliff, but I don't think that would be a problem. Okay. But like I said, this is just right on the edge of the border. Oh, it's there. Okay, cool. Nice. Yeah, I kid you not, man. <laughs> but the border of Argenti is just probably touching this, but it works. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, cool. That is fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to get um, all my dinos uh, from the top platform down here. Get them lined up, and then uh, I think we'll we'll go take on the Alpha Dragon. So I'll bring you guys back when we're ready. All right, guys, I think we are ready to proceed here uh, with the um, uh, the dragon fight. These guys are sunk in the floor here. Had to uh, log out for a few minutes and then come back into the game. And yeah, I don't know, weird. Anyway, um, we have everything we need in here. So let's turn this on, and I hope, um, actually before we start it, uh, this is very tight, <laughs> as you can see here. I tried to, you know, light them up in a nice neat circle around this, but it's a little too tight. So I think I'm going to extend the platform at least one foundation to the right and probably one foundation out, um, you know, that direction too. Uh, but let's go ahead and try this and see how how we do here and um, hopefully we can get through this without too many losses um, this is alpha dragon of course um, if we do lose a couple of our theories that's not necessarily a bad thing from the standpoint of um, this uh, you know uh, being able to replace them with stronger theories because I have stronger theories waiting in the wings okay so this covers this entire platform if we do extend it out we're just going to have to um remember to hold them in but yeah we th there's plenty of room here so i think that'll work uh, for us to expand it out one more foundation that way that way and that way and then we'll just have to make sure nothing's you know right on the corner so Okay, let's do this. This is our second time fighting Alpha Dragon. The first time was pretty successful overall. Um, hopefully we can repeat that process. Keep these guys couraged up here and just kind of moving around away from the fireballs until the ads come anyway. Mostly, well, we didn't completely miss that fireball, but we came close to it. Okay, let's stay close to our guys and deal with the, these ads here real quick. And we couldn't avoid that fireball. Fortunately, the fireballs don't do a hell of a lot of damage, though. I mean, not that we want to get hit by them, but... Okay, let's go over here. And then everybody go after him and get away from him. Ah, oh, man, that's not a good start. He's coming after me. Okay, we can't let that happen too many times. What we're going to do is wait till he fire breaths again, and then we'll go in and recourage. I just don't want to get hit by it because... Uh, okay, good. Now, let's go in, recourage everybody. 
and then we want to stay away from the dragon as much as possible. Everybody's got 10 veggie cakes on them. And this army's actually just a little bit stronger than the, the first one we brought in here anyway, overall. Uh, but we still have quite a few of our, our veteran guys too. All right, do a fire breath. Okay, I think he just, yeah, he just did, okay. Let's give it a double application here. Let's get back out of the way. And yeah, they got him down almost half already. That's about what we did the last time too, right before he took off for his um in the air. So we're we're kind of on par for for the last fight. So this is good. It's very good. We haven't lost anybody yet. Get everybody topped off. We're gonna take a fireball hit, but it is what it is. guys back up again and here comes the ads we'll stay close to our guys we'll do a little bit of biting ourselves here comes fireball okay give everybody another courage and dragon should be landing here momentarily let him come to us. All right, now get out of the way before he does his first flame breath. Okay, he's done it. Pop these guys off. And then get out of the way. Run down about 45%. We'll wait for the next flame breath and then we'll go in with another squirt of courage. Just want to keep the duty back. Okay, let's go. No, don't poop right now. <laughs> it's a bad time to poop. Right, get out of the way. Okay, he's down about. 35, 30%. We might get this before he takes off again. It's going to be close. Okay, flame breath is done. Looks like we hit everybody there. Let's just do it one more time for good measure. And yeah, we got him. Nice. We didn't lose a single dino on that, you guys. That is amazing. Yay, us. All right. Not a single dino was lost on that. Uh, at least I don't think so. I didn't notice it if it was. 440 element. Okay. Happy about that for sure. Okay, well, there's nothing else to do. <laughs> no saddles we have to pick up. So yeah, uh, actually, you know what? Let's let's take a look at this. Uh, yep, yeah, nobody was killed. Amazing. That went really well. That went even better than the first time, <laughs> because the first time we lost uh, what two or three dinos, I think. So yeah, that strategy worked. Oh, we we just did lose somebody. Shoot. Okay, uh, they must have been on the brink there and maybe still burning. Uh, I have no idea where the saddle to that would be. Um, here. Everybody move over that way. Oh, here he is right here. Can I get to him? Oh, that's too bad. I can't, uh, shoot. I can't get to his body, though. He's buried in the dragon. Oh, well. So, I mean, even just, you know, with the loss of one, that's still very acceptable. As much as it sucks, you know. Yeah, there's just no way I can get to the inventory. So, I guess we'll lose that saddle, but it's the way it goes. It's the cost of 440 element. Okay, now, 
What's it gonna do when it sets us back onto this platform? It's a <laughs> it's a cluster for sure. Um, I'm just trying to see if anybody. Okay, everybody. Ah, oh, shit! I'm afraid that's gonna happen. I thought maybe I was far enough away to where the rest of them wouldn't hear it, but it's okay. We're gonna be moving the Rexes upstairs anyways. Um, so did we? Did we drop anybody down below? I I don't. I didn't bring my tech gear with me, so let me go get my jetpack on and we'll just double check. Oh look, a Spino. Nice. We need the sail from that. Uh, nope. Doesn't look like they dropped anyone down below. I still think though that we should extend this out uh, one block or, or foundation this way and one foundation that way and then then it's not quite so scrunched and like I said based upon what I was seeing um, as long as we keep it's a level 85 as long as we keep the um, dinos off the corners we should have plenty of room uh, I am planning on still farming alpha megapithecus too so, um, because, uh, or, uh, and that's why I need the sails. I still don't have a full 10 sails yet. That's the only thing that's holding us back. Okay, guys. Well, that was very successful. Um, only one loss, and that wasn't even due to the main fight. It was just uh, probably DOT after the fact. And uh, pretty happy about that, man. Pretty happy. We will most likely be you know farming alpha dragon again probably even more than once before this series is over just because you get so much element from it but uh yeah so i'm going to extend this platform one block that way one block out that way and um that should just make things a lot easier for us uh, the next time uh, we use this we can go ahead and turn this off now and uh, with that being said i think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here i don't know if i'm going to have a chance to get one more episode out before I have to leave for my business trip. Um, for those of you who don't know, I have to, I'm going to have to go away for a couple of weekends uh, for work simulator. And while I'm gone, I won't be able to make any videos. But uh, when I get back from that, we will, of course, uh, continue um, the series and when that happens. So just letting everybody know that. I'll also, you know, post it, something on YouTube so everybody knows that way as well. Okay, so with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.